Follow these steps to set up your canned bottle machine. Congratulations on receiving your new vending machine. This vending machine is extremely easy and quick to set up. In only a few quick steps, this machine will be ready to vend products and receive payment from your customers. Be sure to have the following tools with you when setting up the machine. A screwdriver or drill with a number two Phillips head. A bubble level for leveling the machine. A VenNet wrench leveling tool. A pry bar, a crowbar or large screwdriver and hammer to split and remove the shipping skids. A box cutter or blade to cut open the packaging. And a receptacle tester. Your machine was thoroughly inspected before leaving the factory and the delivery carrier has accepted responsibility for this machine. It is very important that you inspect the exterior of all cartons for damage upon receipt from the freight line. Damage in transit, although infrequent, does happen. Nearly all damage in transit can be determined from a visual inspection of cartons. Look for any damage to the cardboard corners. The machines are shipped in clear plastic. Look for tears in the plastic and inspect them closely. Take photos of any external damage to packaging before removing it. If this visual inspection reveals nothing, then the machine has probably been received in good condition. If any carton is received in a damaged condition, it is very important that you follow these steps. First, note any damage on the freight line's delivery receipt. Specify where the damage is located. Take photos of the damage. Second, contact the factory at 800-247-1787 for additional instructions. Send photos of the damage to damage at witchern.com. Include serial number and tracking number of shipment. Again, please inspect all equipment thoroughly before signing for it and before the driver leaves. Any questions pertaining to damaged equipment should be referred to the factory. Your machine is shipped on wood skids that need to be removed. Because of the weight of the machine, it may be helpful to slightly raise the machine or for someone to push on the side of the machine, as this will help take the pressure off as you separate the wood from the legs. Using a hammer and a large screwdriver or pry bar, split the skids by inserting the wedge into the provided separation slot and applying pressure to front or back. Then use the hammer to knock the wood away from the legs. You can then dispose of the wood boards and metal washers. The machine must be positioned at least 4 inches from the wall. This is very important for good airflow so the refrigeration unit can operate efficiently. These optional foam blocks can be helpful when positioning your machine. Be sure to mount them vertically and not horizontally. You can find the keys to your machine in the coin return slot in the lower right area on the front of your machine. Unwrap the keys from the poly bag. Unlock the cabinet door here. Turn the handle to the left to thread the handle out of this hole so that the flat part of the threaded handle is facing up. Now the door can slide open when you pull on the handle. It's important to remember to make sure your machine power button is off before plugging the machine into the wall. Now take out the power cord. Make sure the power cord is securely and properly plugged into the machine here. During transit, the vibration can cause this to become unplugged. Also, before plugging the power cord to the wall socket, the integrity of the main electrical supply must be checked for correct polarity, presence of a good ground, and the correct voltage. These checks should be repeated at six month intervals with routine safety electrical testing of the vendor itself. If the receptacle is not properly grounded or polarized, contact a licensed electrician to correctly polarize and or ground the receptacle to ensure safe operation. For proper operation of any equipment utilizing electronically controlled components, the equipment should be placed on an isolated or dedicated noise-free circuit properly polarized and grounded. Refer to the electrical specifications in your service manual to determine circuit amperage and protection. Now plug in your machine. This red light shows that your machine is receiving power. To help ensure proper operation of your machine, it is critical the machine is level.
Make sure the level is on the cabinet and not the door. Make sure the machine is level side to side and front to back. Place the level on the top of the cabinet. Raise the level until the bubble is in the middle so you know what side to raise or lower. Adjust the machine using an adjustable wrench or this leveling tool. Lower the machine by turning the leg clockwise and raise the machine by turning the leg counterclockwise. We recommend adjusting the machine in small increments and then checking the bubble level. To load your drink machine, open these doors to access the selections. Load rear columns first. The Venrack has been factory set for most 20 ounce bottles and 12 ounce cans. Load the front columns with products that sell faster than products in the rear column for easier loading. Products featured in the front door live display must match the products being loaded into these selections. And bottles in the back cradle should have the bottle caps pointing toward the back of the machine. Bottles in the front cradle should have bottle caps toward the front of the machine. We do not recommend using these 16.9 ounce water bottles. These thinner plastic water bottles cannot be stacked to full capacity. After opening the machine door, pull open this silver door to access service mode so you can set your prices. Press this button on the control board to switch the machine to service mode. You will now see the number of motors the machine detects here on the display. Press 5 to enter pricing mode. You can choose to price the whole machine or an individual selection. Press 1 to price an individual item. Enter the selection number you want to price. Now enter the new price for the selection. Press pound to save. Press star to exit. Press 3 to set a price for all the items in the machine. Enter the new price. Press pound to save. Press star to exit. In order to receive cash and give out change, you will need to fill the machine's coin tubes. In service mode, press 1 to enter tube fill mode. Now enter coins into your machine. We recommend filling your machine with 30 of each coin. All selections will need to be set to can or bottle, so the machine properly dispenses the item the customer purchases. In service mode, press 4 for configuration. You can set all the selections to the same configuration if you are only selling cans or bottles. You can also set individual selections based on the product you're selling in each selection. Press 3 to set all items to the same configuration. Press 3 to scroll through the options. Press pound to save. Press star to exit. Press 1 to set a configuration for an individual selection. Enter the selection number. Press 1 to scroll through the options. Press pound to save. Press star to exit. To load the display area, remove these Phillips screws. Slide the back panel up and lift off. Place the drinks here. When you're finished loading, make sure the panel goes back into the slots on the side. Put the screws back in place to secure the back panel. Make sure you can hear the refrigeration running and feel for cool air.